Five years ago, our family began an incredible journey to start a food justice restaurant called Vimala's Curry Blossom Cafe. And it's named after my mother, Vimala Rajendran, who has been cooking since she was seven. Um, she's an incredible, incredible cook. And, and she's an incredible cook because she cooks with love. Like she thinks of it as her ministry, as her social justice work, as her art form, her vehicle for change. And it is a huge contribution to social justice work. It began, uh, after 18 years of a community kitchen that we ran out of our home, and, and even the creation of the community kitchen was kind of an inadvertent thing. So when I was, I guess, 12 or 13, um, a bunch of women from my, the neighborhood that I grew up in invited my mom to come out for dinner for her birthday, and they said to her, um, the abuse that you're living with is unlivable. Like we, we have to come up with a strategy to get you out of there. And she said, it's not feasible. I, I don't have my own independent immigration status and I don't have the financial means to get away. And they said to her, well, every time we walk by your house, you invite us in and you feed us. What if we were to give you a little bit of money for that exchange and you give us enough food to feed our families? And so she started cooking big amounts of food and we would um, do a little Indian food takeout out of the side door of our tiny little home. And she would save cash from this and was raising her own small independent in income. And that sort of positioned her so that one day when the opportunity came to run away unexpectedly, we, um, we hit the road and we left. Um, we lived underground for a few weeks and we, um, we were homeless for a time living in various people's um, whatever they could offer us to stay. Um, and we kept the community dinners going through this process. People would put whatever they could afford in a jar and take home as much as they needed. Then after 18 years of this, a jealous uh, restaurant owner called the health department and they they told the health department that we were doing this they said you've got to you've got to bust this <laughs> and so um, my mother called me in tears and said the health department just called we have to call the food back in you know we were going to be serving out in this place um, she told my brother to go and uh, bring all the food back tell all the people to come back to the house and eat the food. So they ate it all. And the next day we kind of began strategizing uh, over the phone. I was living in Chicago at the time. And she said, if you and your brother and your sister are willing to come home and help this restaurant launch, then I'll do it. And so I said, yes. And I moved home from Chicago. We had our soft opening at the time of the U.S. Social Forum in Detroit and we pay workers a living wage. We source most of our produce and um, meat from small local family farms. Um, we work hard to have uh, as much shared decision making as possible. We um, we reduce waste in, in big ways, like we're part of the pilot composting program in our area and um, compost tons and tons of what most restaurants have to throw away. We're part of a national organizing effort to try and fight for a living wage for all restaurant workers. We're serving healthy, locally sourced, affordable food in um, in a mixed class, mixed race space that really uh, shifts the dynamics around the southern table.